Hello, child of God. I welcome you once again to Christ Without Borders. Now, this is, and the title of this one is going to be The Wolves, The Wolves of Not Reading. The Wolves of Not Reading. <clears throat> now, reading is very important to every human being. You know, when we look at human being and our existence, one of the primary ways of acquiring information one of the primary ways of getting information into our human, into our, into us, is three: by reading, by what we're seeing, and by what you're hearing. By reading, by what you're seeing visually happening in front of you, and by what we're hearing. Three primary ways of acquiring information knowledge as a human being the primary one is reading ability to read very important because a lot of the information a lot of the things are in written form a lot of the information a lot of the things human beings need you know whatever we need a lot of that information is in written form so if you can't read it's a big problem because uh, there is a lot of the things that is supposed to come to you is in a written form. You have to put effort in reading. But we have a problem, you know. <laughs> if you look closely on this on the continent, you realize there are a lot of people who don't want to read, people who don't like reading. And I say that because this is coming from an experience I had, you know, those days... Um, I was working as a what word would I use? I was working, I was working as a sales executive. I realized I, I, something I realized and watched over time. You have a device displayed with all the specifications in front of the device, and you have people who come and call you and tell you what is written here. And these are people who clearly could read, you know. But for whatever reason, we see it a lot. If you look down here, a lot of people don't want to read with their eyes. And you see, we see the ripple effect when it comes to the things of God. And even when, when I move further and turn and co connect this into the house of God, why we are facing certain problems. But I'll stay here, you know. The wolves of not reading. Is there any society that has people who are too lazy or who don't want to read? You know, that community, that society tends to thrive on hearsay, gossip. And so if you've looked closely, if you've looked around you, you realize news travels faster with that kind of information because nobody has time to check anything nobody has time to cross check anything and even some of the media houses are doing the same nobody is doing their research hey, they said this and that and then people are running helter skelter to come online to make videos about something that they've not even tried to find you know they've not they've not even tried you, if, if you try to look for something you're not finding anything, fine, at least you tried. People hear something and they are in a hurry to come online to make this and say that and they say this and say that and say this and say that and nobody nobody is interested in trying to find out is it true or is it not? It's a very big problem. Very big problem. Hmm? This is a community we find ourselves in. A community that thrives on hearsay. And if you know a little bit about communication, when something is said from person A, from person one, and the channel in which that thing is being communicated, and that the channel which that style of communication is is, is traveling, is using gossip. By the time that message gets to the tenth person, it has changed totally. But you find people who hold on to what someone said as the truth. 
Yes, yeah, sometimes you can hold you can hold on to what is said by certain credible, you know, organizations. You know, you, there are people you know have done their their work. There are people you know they've done they do their research. There are people you know you're not come and say certain things without doing their research. So so those people you can rely on them. But one of the things you find out here is everybody moves when someone says something and nobody has time to find out what is it true is it is it a lie Can, is it is it a what is it fake news you know as we saw in the united states when president trump coined that term fake news and we are seeing it today it's everywhere people are seeing these people are saying things and they've not and you won't even find even two percent of what they are saying to be true and this is what is controlling and a lot of times in the social media space, a lot of fake news and you no know, mixing up of stuff hmm? just to get views, you know, because somebody wants to make a buck there and here and there. One of the next things to a superpower that any human being can have access to, I would say, is the discipline of reading. Nobody can force you to read. It's something, it's, it's some, something you instill in yourself because you know the benefits, you know the value of it. Now, one of the crucial things of, um, of creating anything, you want to innovate something, you want to, you want to build a better product than what somebody has built, you, you want to make discoveries, it doesn't happen in the absence of research. Now, when you come to research, you need a lot. Is research entails and involves a lot of reading. Research. Research is a very crucial aspect of a lot of the things, technologies we see today, and even the technologies of tomorrow. Hmm? If you want to build what Nikola Tesla was trying to build, uh, a free energy thing, wireless thing that everybody can have access to electricity without paying. How are, you, how are you going to go back in time and bring back that technology in 2024 without reading and digging down deep without doing research? Research involves a lot of reading. Involves, research involves, uh, involves a lot of reading, a lot of hours, sometimes years. But if you're dealing with the people who don't who are too lazy to read. They are, see, if you are dealing with people who are too lazy to read, right from the word go, yeah, those people have been crippled in the area of research. Because if you are too lazy to read the basic stuff, I doubt you are going to spend time to read a thousand page book to make a certain discovery of a certain technology that was being used somewhere in the 1600s or 1500s. Those guys were using electric vehicles back then. But if you don't, you are too lazy to read. I'm telling you, it's a problem. It's a big problem. When we have been told that if you want to hide anything from the black man, put it in writing. A lot of you have heard this thing and still, Society is too lazy to read. And we see we see it barefoot when we come to the area of the, the church and the word of God. I'll come there. I want to exhaust, I want to sit here. I want to settle here. <laughs> it's very important. Nations have been signed into poverty because people were too lazy to read that document. You know what the enemy does? You make sure the documents is giving you it's like a thousand page so that you are you are going to be too lazy to read, and then on the last page you just append your signature, not knowing you have sold you have sold your nation, you have sold yourself into slavery because somebody was too lazy to read. I'm giving you some tactics. This is what the enemy does. When he's reading the contract, you make sure the pages are plain so you don't have time to read it. You just sign it because he knows it is your weakness. The woes of not reading. This is part one. 
I'll come in part two tomorrow.